Okay, so now that I've created the, the labels here, let's go through these labels and let's go through the email inbox and let's show how to deal with it with a couple of different examples. So we'll go to our inbox here. I'm going to click on the first email. This here is just a notice. This is something I want to read. So right now it's currently in my inbox. This is where the labels go is up here. I'm going to label this. There's two ways I can do that. I'm going to label it right here. Say I want to read this later. I'm going to go here and I'm going to set read. Then I'm going to take it out of my inbox. I have currently 100 emails in my inbox. These are my unread emails, the 89 out of 100. It's currently in my inbox and is labeled read. I'm going to take it out of my inbox either by selecting this X here or by archiving it. It's the same thing. So this is the email from Chandler Bolt, which I'll get to later. So I'm going to click inbox. So now it's out of my inbox and I've got 99 emails. So that's one task off my checklist. Remember, this is a checklist. This is no longer an email storage bin. Now say I want to find that email. I go, shoot, where is it because it's not here anymore? Well, I know the guy's name is Chandler, so I can search by Chandler. Oh, look, there it is, the one with at read. Um, if I know the context of the email here is something to do with publishing, I can type that, and there it is as well. So the idea is that, remember, is that any of these keywords, after you've reviewed the email, you'll have the context, you'll have an idea of what this is about. I can search by anything. I can search by South Carolina. It's going to pull it up as well. And remember that this is just like Google. It searches extremely well. There it is as well. So you want to just get it out of your inbox into your archive folder. Now archive just means out of the inbox and you can also get to that by going more and then all mail. If I click on all mail, you'll see that here's the email as well. And this has 111 emails in here as opposed to in my inbox, I've got 99. So we're going to get the inbox down to zero and in my all mail, it'll be over 100 inside there. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So let's pretend that this one here I want to actually read later on. So this is like an interesting email to me. So I'm going to read this. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to search, start typing at read. And I've got 99 emails, 88 unread in here. I'm going to get it out of my inbox. I'm going to archive this. Now, when I'm at the airport and I want to read something, I'm going to go to my at read label here. And I'm going to pull up the different emails that I want to read. Once I've gone through this email here and I've decided that uh, I've read this one, I'm going to take that label off. And now, in my read section, I've only got one email left to read. So going back to the email inbox here, we're going to keep going through the emails and blast through them. So this one here, let's say I want to, re uh, I want to review this with my manager. <clears throat> so I'm going to label this with my manager, take it out of my inbox because this is something I want to review with him. When he comes into my office, I'm going to click the Add at Manager section and there's the email right there. So then my manager comes in my office, I'd say I've got 15 emails here to review with him, and each email is no longer an email, it's a task, it's an idea. Okay, another useful option is that if I have an idea of something I want to bring up with my manager, rather than write it down on a piece of paper or send him an email about what I want, I'll send myself an email and I'll build up my own task list here. So I'll send myself an email saying, Remind rewriting a presentation before X and Y Z client. And then I'll just send myself that email. That's going to hit my email inbox. Here it is. I'm going to label this at at manager. Take it out of my email inbox. It goes to manager. And there we go. So again, I'm creating my own task list to deal with my manager specifically. That's the idea behind this here. So let's keep going. So also what we're trying to remember here is that every email that takes two minutes or less we're dealing with. Let's say this email here is going to take me two minutes or more to respond to because uh, the contents I have to write or I've got to do some action on this is going to take some time. So in that case, if it's going to take two minutes or longer, we're going to label this action. And I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm just going to get it out of my email inbox. So I'm clearing out my inbox. The whole point is to get to inbox zero. When I'm finished cleaning my inbox, I'm going to go to my action folder. This is the next step. Step one, clean your inbox. Step two, go to your action folder. And these will be the emails that take two minutes or longer to respond to. So I'm breaking these into chunks that are very, very manageable. The idea behind this is that you don't want to get lost in emails. It becomes very overwhelming. If I start responding to this email and I've got this whole email inbox, Box full of 97 emails left. The idea is you want to blast through the majority of these. The majority of these will take less than two minutes and then I'll be left with a couple of emails in my action folder that I want to deal with. 
So you want to blast through as much of this as possible. The idea, again, with GTD is get things done. Just push through it as fast as possible. So the next one here, let's assume that this one here is one that I want to uh, deal with. Um, I'm going to send an email to this. So I'm going to send an email saying, hi, thanks for X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. And then when I send this email, right, uh, when I send this email, uh, thanks for the update. So I'll send this email. And let's say I'm waiting for a response from this person. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go waiting for. So I'm going to label this as waiting for, and I'm going to get this out of my email inbox. So right now it's in my email inbox. I've got 97 emails in my inbox. I'm going to archive this. Now I'm going to have 96 in my email inbox. And I know that I'm waiting for a response from this guy. So this is a nice prompt that if once a day I'll look through this and I'll say, whose emails am I waiting for? Oh, I'm waiting for this guy's email and it was sent you know, this morning or sent a week ago or whatever it was, I'm gonna prompt him again. When he responds, I'll take off the waiting for uh, label and then now it's been dealt with. Now I've got no conversations left with this. So if that makes sense, let's start to get through this here. So let's see how fast this takes for us to get through. 